不是你在台湾做这战队，本来就是佛心来着。你本身选手又不一定能给你有什么真的成绩，或者是太多的广告效益，很多都是做佛心来着。就是你做了，你你你给这个。哼<笑>，你，你做了你做了这种事，你这样子叫谁谁以后还还会想要真的来啊？真的来来来创什么战队还是什么的？真的太夸张了啊！真的太夸张了。Yeah, dude, my favorite thing about meeting Azel, like when I first met the guy back in you know 2017 when I moved out here and everything, and I was just talking to him a little bit, you know, just basic getting to know you type of questions. I was like, okay, so like, what other games besides League do you play, bro? He was like, oh, you know, like historically, I've played a lot of World of Warcraft and StarCraft and stuff like that. I was like, oh, sick! I used to play a ton of Warcraft three, but I never played WoW. I was like, were you super hardcore into it? He was like, yeah, I was the best person in the world. I was like, what? He was like, yeah, my team won almost everything we ever competed in. I was like, holy shit! If that is not the most Chad flex I have ever heard in my life. He just casually brings it up in conversation, like, "Oh yeah, I went to the store yesterday." Like, "Oh yeah, me and my teammates won." Like, if we got second place, it was rare. Like, <laughs> like the dude is, dude. But actually, look at this, bro. Actually, plus seventeen, minus sixteen. My plus sixteen, plus seventeen, plus sixteen, sixteen, seventeen, sixteen, sixteen, minus sixteen, plus fifteen, minus sixteen, 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 sixteen. This guy had the audacity to tell me, bro. This, I, there is no other legitimate way to like. This is full legit. Still chewing on the bait, I see. It was bait, it was bait, you're right, it was bait, 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 it was bait. I said that I'm listening to the stream. I'm going to say that I'm connected to the stream. I'm going to say that I'm connected to the stream. What sign am I, Libra? We can do love for the stream. Oh, please. With Kali Uchi, man. Oh, but... Two times. Makers maxing W. Yeah, I saw PSG's song choice. It was, uh, I think, I think it was a bit cringe. Oh shit! Oh fuck! Oh no! Wow, nice predict. Well, it wasn't a predict. He went after him, but like, um, he did it. it. He did it fast enough to bring ult with him. It. He did it fast enough to bring ult with him. Like reaction time. Oh, Deus, God, let's go! Fucking show my. This a little show like it. This a little show like it. Dude, these dipshits are fucking trolling so bad. <laughs> Fuckers. Sorry. No. Those already don't know what they're watching. Have you got any professional people to give you advice? I'm not even sure if I want to buy which section. I just know I want to buy the size of the size. And... How about the house? Level 3, but it's still going to be a pretty difficult lane matchup for Cody. And Cody, not always the strongest laner, even if he can contribute a lot to Gillette Infinity in teamfights. 
Yeah, he has a lot of good ults to take away though. He has a Renekton ult, the Akali ult, the Hecarim ult. Even things like the Rel ult can be useful in these fights when you have a Meganar. So we'll have to see how he uses those in fights. The mid push will be contested. Cody actually winning out on these trades. Quick level three immediately That's goes a solo in. kill. First blood for Cody, not just about the Zoe. Makes his mark on the Silas He's too. He's been playing so many control majors. Picks the Silas, gets counterpicked by a Renekton flex. Gets the solo kill. Arya. We talked about Arya, we hyped him up, we said he's the key for the team, he has a winning lane matchup, but that's a solo kill for Cody, and that's huge for Gillette Infinity. Sadly for Arya, he is not enough first time he's been solo killed by Silas. We've seen on stage, so have to track how he can do, what he can do to adapt. Of course, Cody's going to At least one, three, one sort of compositions, particularly in the mid game, right? And you see just a little bit of it there. Two people showed the, oh, hang on. Oh, Doggo, might be in a little bit of trouble, does not have flash, and that means he's going to go down. You cannot be standing right beside each other. Kino is almost in. Now, Paul Souza, no, what's Paul Souza? Go to the mother of his father, man. He and Pacheco, the two, eating one to the other, with a deal of double. Estão a ver, punham tipo um cu com um cu, com uma picha de dois, de duas, dois ends no meio, daquelas grossas africanas, tá? Enfiarem-se os dois na cona da mãe deles, mano. Já. Very strong position to make it to the knockout stage, but C9 are vying for that first spot, and Aria once again vying to die. Second death this summer on the LeBlanc as the chase goes on. Ebby forced away towards the top side. He's gonna nab and not get a stun perks. Diving double Nexuses into three, and he's just too damn tanky. You just can't kill him. Gang will fall. Perks gets another double, and C9 announce themselves on the world stage with a win versus a DFM. They're gonna play with their food a little bit on the Nexus here, Unipon force back, the minions will do the work for Cloud9 as the Curtain Call comes out, and it's Vulcan all good and will die. <laughs> Counter Curtain Call, Perks can't no. hit the target, Nexus falls, Cloud9 with the... Don't mean to analyze, he's just one banging everyone. Okay, this Chaos keyboard is broken as well. Fudge gonna be jumped on here, TP coming into this Vanguard stage as well, and Fudge turns it back around. C9 were waiting for this, they were lying in wait. DFM invests a ton into the top lane, but the Nar brings the Nar back. It's another double for Perks as he goes 4 0 2 so far in the game, he's looking to make it 5. Gang caught out, it's a triple for the C9 mid laner. Perks makes a statement on his return to world. And now. Why does your timer counting backwards? The fuck you want it counting down, bro? What do you what do you want? You think it's like a fucking bomb that's about to go off at the end of it? What do you think this timer is? <laughs> There's no way we lose to DFM. There's no way we lose to UOL and DFM. I don't believe it. Damn it, guys. Stop laughing. It's not funny. It's not funny, chat. It's sad. Any sages? Hey, look at the reaction from Fudge. He's on top of it. He knows. He's all good. You look like a TSM fan right now? What do you mean, bro? I don't have fluid just leaking out of my fucking skull. I don't look like a TSM fan. Okay, the big crab. Oh, no. Fudge is kind of low. Can they kill the big crab in time?
<laughs> it's a bit funny. Okay, man. <laughs> a little bit funny. All right, it's a little funny. I'll give you that. Please, just don't. Just take the crab. Come on, Blabber. You love crabs. Don't... It's obviously not early morning here. What the fuck am I saying? I don't get it. Oh my god, is Dombi gonna die? Oh my god, he's gonna die. He's gonna die. Second solo kill. This is a boring chant here for FPX. The support main is too strong, guys. The support main Seraphim is just too strong for Dombi. It's just a bad game. Yeah, it might be just a bad game. Caught on the side. Oh, it's a shit show. Oh my god, what are we doing? No! Hey guys, I'm Joseph. I created the algorithm, Gloomshot, that made the video that you're watching right now. I didn't do any of the video editing, compilation, or uploading by hand. I actually wrote some code that does all of it for me while I'm sleeping. This might seem like a pretty complex skill, but it's a lot simpler than you think. I'm completely self-taught and believe that if you can play video games, you can write your own automation code. If you're interested in learning this skill, I've created an online course that will hold your hand through making a bunch of real-world projects, even if you've never coded before. Check it out in the description below.